Hello, this is Pinky, and today is going to be a tutorial on how to make a Substance Painter uh, FBX for Substance Painter. So, this will basically be the ones that you see where you have the avatar and then all the meshes expanded out. So, we'll get right into this. First, I'm going to press A and X, and this will just delete everything. I'm going to go over to File, I'm going to hit Import, I'm going to go to FBX, and then I'm going to grab the avatar that I want to use. So, in this case, this is the Wicker Beast. And so, I'm going to start off by separating everything by the different materials. So we're gonna be in object mode and we're gonna make sure we click the material uh, properties one. It'll look like a little red circle. And so while we're in this, we're gonna have these list of materials here. So to get started, I'm gonna press tab and this will put us into edit mode. And so what we can do is we can select body, hit the select button. And then what we can do is we can press G and then X or G and uh, Y to move it across the Y and I'm just going to move this over here. Now, the next step is I'm gonna to go to eyes. I'm gonna hit select, I'm gonna hit G, and I'm just going to grab them and move them up here. Now, I'm going to do the horns and such. I'm gonna hit select and press G. This will allow me to grab these, and I'm gonna move them uh, again on the Y axis, and then just put them right there. And now for the floof, I'm gonna hit select, and this will highlight everything, and I can grab these and move them. I'm going to actually just keep these here, and instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these and move them a little bit. So I'm going to click this up here, and I'm going to highlight all of this to the best of my ability. I'm going to hold uh, shift as well. I'm going to press G to move this, and I'm just going to move it over here. And so now that we have that done, I'm going to go to mouth, hit select, press G, and I'm just going to move that down here for now. And then blush, G, going to move that up. And then lashes, select, G, and I'm actually going to quickly, there we go. And then I'm going to move those up there. So now that that is done, uh, as you can see, these are way too small. So I'm going to press S to scale them up so they're a little easier to edit. And so now you can see that we have all of our avatars in different parts. Uh, I'm going to quickly select this and just hide it because we don't need it right now. And as you can see, we have something like this where they're all kind of merged together and they would still be pretty hard to texture. So what we can do is we can head over into edit mode with this selected and we can press the L key and this will allow us to just grab each individual part. So to get started, I'm going to make sure I hit the mirror part and I'm going to hit L on all of the top row of teeth here. So I should actually just be able to select those and press grab, move them. If not, I can just L to select them. And I want to make sure that I have the right ones on both sides. So also that. And now if I grab this and do it on the Y axis or the uh, X axis, Z, sorry, uh, I can move them up. And then we're going to do the same process for these lips here. So I'm going to grab these two here and just press L to select these and then press G and I'm gonna make sure it's all, press Z as well. Now move down and then we can do this one. So again, G and then I'm gonna move this in front a little and I'm gonna press L on these two, S to increase the size of them uh, like that. So they're a little easier to texture and I'm gonna press G and move them just kind of where these teeth are as well. So just kind of like that. So now you can see uh, we have all our things kind of separated. I can press L, grab, move this back a little bit. And so this is kind of the rinse and repeat process for everything. So I'm gonna wanna separate these a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I click this mirror here, I press L, you can press grab. And as you can see, the other one moves as well. And then I'm just going to move these to the side a little bit. And so here, grab and to the side. And then for this one, I'm going to quickly L to grab Y or uh, G and then Z to move upwards. So I have a little bit more space. And then I'm going to grab L on this one here, press G. And it is pretty much the exact same process. So I'm gonna move it forward a little bit, uh, like there. 
And then I'm going to quickly grab both of these. G, Y, move all this forward. Now, you can see we have a bit of an issue, right? Where it's not grabbing everything. So we can just turn this off for now. And then press Y to grab both. And then G and Y again. So the reason that this issue here happens is because you can see that these are kind of sinking into each other. And that can be a bit of a problem. So what we can do to fix this is actually we click L and then we turn off this mirror module. So we make sure that when we grab this, it's only this. And now what you can do is you can press G and then you can hit Y or something. So we'd actually probably want to do G and then uh, X here to move it to the side. And so what we're going to do is while we have G active and we have X, what we can do is we can start typing. So we can do negative sign 0 0.1 or 0 0.001 or uh, let's go like one like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same here. So we're going to click L. We're going to hit G to grab it and then Z or sorry, uh, X to do the axis. And then we're going to hit 0 0.01. And now that it's on the opposite side, but the exact same amount, we can go back to this mirror tool and we should be able to grab this. And now they'll move it the same without having any issues. And so for this, we can just kind of press G and then Y to move it forward. And then G again, and we will do a uh, Z, Z and just kind of move them like that. So our teeth are kind of decently spaced out now that it's easier to texture them. So if you wanted to texture each individual one, this will work. And for this one, I'm actually just going to press G and then Y or uh, G and then X and just move this up a little bit to give this a little more space to texture on. And... So I'm going to repeat the exact same process we did on the bottom teeth here, and I'll just speed this part up. So now that I'm done with the teeth, I'm actually just going to quickly select these ones here and kind of just give them a little bit of a move this way, kind of line up with the rest, uh, like right about there. And as you can see, they look now separated and would be a little bit easier to texture on. Um, of course, you can move them however you want, but that's how I would just do this. And then this mouth part, of course, this is going to be very hard to texture as it is. So we're actually going to use our UV editing here. So what we can do, press L and we will go over to UV editing. And so this will be our kind of mouth area. And so what we can do is we can highlight this and kind of get it all the way to the center here. So all the way down. And then we would go like that and then back over. Make sure we're kind of on the same one here. I believe these two are lined up. And then we would go and select the part that this is to. Uh, I think I'm a little wrong, actually. I might have grabbed the wrong one. Oh, it's a little lopsided. That's fine. Um, anyways, we can actually go to hide unselected. So as you can see right now, we have everything highlighted. And we want to only highlight the ones we've selected like that. 
And then what we can do is we can hit the separate or the, uh, the split right here. And now that we've done that, if we go back to here and press L and go back to the UV editing, we can highlight one half of this and should be able to just unhighlight this part or may as well highlight these. And then we can go to reveal hidden other way around, uh, hide selected. There we go. And then we should be able to go back to layout with that highlighted. We can hit separate uh, or split. And then you can just kind of, it's a little bit of a messy process. A better way is just separating it. And then you can grab it like this, Y or uh, press G. And then we want to go on the Z axis, move it up. And then we can press this one, hit shift, hit this one, control J. And that will join them back. And now, as you can see, they're split apart. Um, of course, you may want to fine tune it a bit yourself because there's a lot of like jagged edges here that would still be a bit hard to texture on. Um, but you can separate that yourself for now, this display. I was just basically showing how I would go about that. And so now with the Y tool we, or the, uh, the mirror tool, we can grab these thumbs and kind of move the fingers a little bit uh, further apart from each other. So grab and then y and then same thing l g y and now that separates them so that it's a little easier to texture and then same with the horns so the horns as you can see there's some meeting here so we're going to use the same process turn off the mirror press l hit g and we're going to want it on the x axis and we're going to do negative 0.1 and then we're going to press l here g X axis and we're gonna do 0.1 because it's positively and that's how we would separate those same things with the eye so again L G X to move it along this way and then zero point let's go four since or uh, negative sorry negative 0.3 and we're gonna do the same here except for positive so this one will be just G X 0.3 and now they're separated like that so we're getting down to it. Now we're basically gonna repeat this process we did here uh, for the hands and the teeth and the horns. And we're gonna do this to the actual fluff as well. So pretty much the same process, mirror tool, L, grab it. If there's some parts like that, then you would just do the G, X, and then make sure that this is off of course, G, X, and then zero point or negative 0 0.2. And then here, L G X 0 0.2 and repeat that process again. Some of these, like an example, this one here, you should be able to just press L G X and you should be able to just split them apart without really have to move anything. And then of course you can just G and then uh, Z to move downwards. And then you can kind of separate them around along. So it's easier to texture. And so for these like kind of middle ones, what I like to do is I like to just grab them while viewing from the side and just kind of pulling them apart that way. And then since there's just one each here, you can just kind of grab and move those ones. So the same thing, this one here, grab and then just move down. And then since these are separate as well, there's nothing touching. You can just grab and move them to the side. And then same thing here, grab and move to the side. And now you kind of have the hair here expanded out a little easier to texture on. Um, and so if you want to like mass select like here, you just highlight, shift, and then you can continue highlighting. And then we can just move those up. We can maybe even scale them up to make them easier to texture. So I'm going to grab them, move them here, scale them up a little so they're easier to texture. And then I'm going to grab these ones here too. G, move over and scale up. And just so they're a little easier to texture. This won't change the output of the texture when you're actually doing a photo or like substance paint or anything, this will just change it when you're painting on it. So it's a little easier to paint on these. So we are gonna do the same to the toes here. So highlight, we're gonna go to the side view and we're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna make sure that everything is highlighted using this tool here. And then we're gonna press S to just move them up, make them bigger and easier to texture. And then we can just press L, 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 Make sure the mirror tool's on, G, and then we want to do Z, 
or X, sorry, to move them apart a little bit. So we are pretty much almost done. We will just have this head of hair to do and the tail. And if you want, we can try splitting apart the body, and I'll show you how to do that as well. But for the most part, I'm going to... Uh, I've already given you all the information you would need to how to do these two, so I'm going to also just skip this part and speed it up a little bit.
now that I've uh, basically gone ahead and completely unraveled this floof, as you can see, it is absolutely crazy now. And so now that this is all done, I'm going to hit Alt H and this will show all the things we were doing previously. And I'm going to press G and I'm going to just move this back a little bit more. And I'm going to quickly go back to this avatar. And so we have some feet beans here that I'm also going to grab and move. And I'm going to kind of put these in the same section. So it's your grab. And then I'm going to slide them across the Y, increase their size. And I'm going to grab R to rotate. And then I'm going to make sure that I'm rotating them along the X axis to flip them, basically. And then you can hold control. And then up in this corner, uh, you can see the percentage. And I just want it to be 180. And then I'm going to hit R to rotate again. I'm going to hit uh, Y. Or rather, I'm going to turn off the mirror and I'm going to hit R, Y, or um, Z, sorry, and rotate them another 180 this way. And now I'll just press G again, move them across the Y axis, and just go like that. And so that will be the beans, as you can see here, completely flipped over and ready to texture. So we've basically taken everything apart here and made it super easy to texture. Uh, we have almost everything here from the mouth on the outside here. We have uh, maybe these eyebrows could be taken off to make them a little easier. So same process again. I'm just going to press L and then I can grab them. And I'm going to make sure I actually just use the mirror tool here. Just press L on just the eyebrow. Press G and then we're going to press uh, X here and just kind of move them and size them up a little bit so they're easier to texture. So... We've gone ahead and basically made this way easier to texture. All the things we would want to texture are bigger, and we have everything split up here. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to add the same FBX we did earlier. So we're going to go to import, and we're going to go to FBX, and we're going to import the same avatar one more time. And uh, we're going to hit G, and we're going to hit X to move it above, and we're going to keep it there. And better yet, actually, what we could do is G, uh, and then we just kind of reset it with a control Z, keep it at this spot. And instead, we're going to select this one, press G, press Z, move it up. And so this will be our default view, and this will be our expanded view up here for texturing. And then we're going to do a last thing of linking these two together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this armature, and I'm just going to press X and delete it. And then I'm going to click this one again, X, delete it. And we should be just left with these two. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this, hit shift, click on this, then control and J together. That will join these two. And now you can see in our materials, it looks like all of our stuff is duped. And that's not what we want to do. We want to merge these together. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we click on this, hit tab to go to enter mode or into edit mode. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select body here. And then we're going to select body 0.1 here. And then we're going to go back to this one and hit assign. And you'll know you did this right if you go back to body 0.1, hit select, and nothing comes up. Which then means you can just go back into object mode and just delete that. And we basically just do this uh, process for all of them. So eyes, hit select, hit eyes here, hit select. And then we're going to hit assign. And then same with horns, select, horns, select, and then assign. And we're just going to repeat this process for all of the other ones. Oh, actually, I have to preface something before. Um, so when we are doing this, we want to make sure that when we do successfully merge something, so say these eyes are merged now, uh, we're going to hit tab to go to object mode click on the eyes hit the delete key and then switch back and then we're going to repeat so of course horns and claws select uh nothing there select all of them are there that's good so we're going to go back delete that go back to edit mode so select floof and then select this floof hit assign and then we go back to this one delete it and then same process again basically if you are here and you have, say, body highlighted, 
and you're going to be doing mouth, you don't want to mix those two. So you just click away. It will unhighlight everything. And then we can go back to selecting mouth and then selecting mouth here and then hitting assign and then going back here, hitting delete and then basically repeating this process. Okay, now we are completely done. This is the final product here. And so to basically display that how this works is I'm going to go over to file. I'm going to hit export. I'm going to go to FBX and I'm going to select the same file uh, direction. And I'm actually going to go up here and just press control C to copy that. And we're going to call this SPP uh, wicker file. And then we can just turn off bake, we can turn off armature, add leaf bones, and we can just set this to all local. Um, actually, I'm going to do FBX all in this case. And then I'm going to hit export FBX. And now if I go to the file location that this is stored in, so I'm just going to go over to here and then right here. So we should have the uh, FBX here. Um, also, make sure to save your Blender file whenever you're doing stuff like this. So... Uh, just in case it crashes or anything. And now the final test to see if everything worked. If we boot up our substance painter here and then we drag this custom file that we made into here. And then we of course set our settings 4K, hit OK, and we wait for it to load it in. You will now see that we have our avatar split up. And to finally prove that it's all worked, if you go over to say body, and I'm going to just switch it to uncolored mode. And if I start drawing on the chest, you'll see it draws on this one too, and vice versa. So if I'm coloring the tail here, it's doing it to this one. And this basically allows you to see what the full avatar will look like with your texturing, while also having the advantages of an easier to texture style. So if you wanted to texture the eyes, you can just head over here and do it. Because if you were going to try and do it here, you would be smudging and you might hit the face or something. It's a lot harder to view. Anyways, uh, this has just basically been going over how to make your own Substance Painter FBX in case there isn't one included with your avatar. Um, I hope this tutorial has helped you. If it has, please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, this has been Pinky and uh, I'm gone. Hello, this is Pinky and this is a shout out to my Patreons for this month. Those being Cupid Fox, Dreaded, Blue Nino, Logs1234, Suzuki, Tef, Sir Fappingson, Hamu, and the Maple Proto, as well as Hydro19 on my YouTube channel. I would like to appreciate all of you guys uh, for what you do, helps support me and helps create videos. And if you would like a little desk buddy as seen on screen, uh, that would be over on my Patreon linked in the description. Anyways, uh, once again, I really appreciate you guys. What you do helps create videos like this, and I hope to be around a lot longer to create more videos. Have a lovely day.